So it's right around 2.30 p.m. on Monday, September 18th. I just made a video about 30 minutes ago about how there is some hacking going on with um, my electronic accounts and devices. And it's usually related to stuff that is financial or stuff that's related to the landlord. The landlord is a crooked Russian slumlord who appears to be using the services of a cyber criminal or several, maybe it's more than one, but who has admitted to renting to a known psychopath who is also a cyber criminal and a sex offender named Jasmine Arizari, who lived behind that wall in the bathroom of Unit 78 for nine of the last 10 years. According to Greenville Management, this cyber criminal slash psychopath slash sex offender was moved out of Unit 78 about 10 months ago last fall, but continues to reside in the building. And she continues to be permitted uh, by the Greenville Group to access the now vacant and empty premises of her former unit so that she can access her former bathroom and engage in the same exact pattern of stalking, harassment, intrusion, and physical harm from behind that wall as she has been engaging in from behind that wall for the last 10 years. Ms. Arizari, the cyber criminal, sex offender, psychopath, was placed in Unit 78 in uh, summer of 2013. And I remember that date well because that's when somebody started breaking and entering into that door right there unlocking it from the outside and uh, standing in the middle of the doorway, singing loudly and engaging in attention seeking behavior on several occasions um, during the first few years that she lived in that unit and unit 78 behind that wall. The fact that there's constantly someone engaging in the propagation and distribution of intense, overpowering and sickening fumes and odors that come from directly behind that wall on a regular basis, including just yesterday morning, um, none of it has happened today because today is a Monday and there's staff in the office. So she knows that if I call the office and somebody comes up here, they would smell the fumes and odors. But what I'm reporting right now is the fact that my devices and my electronic communications over the last few days and over the last, I'd say, you know, yeah, seven, eight days that pertain to either having something to do with exposing the landlord's uh, malfunction and dysfunction or simply obtaining funds for myself um, through participation in research studies or focus groups or um, legitimate, you know, employment applications, they've all been blocked, interfered with, and hacked into. So right now I just posted a brand new video about the landlord hasn't made any repairs in this unit since October 2021 in spite of multiple ISD citations. I just posted this video to YouTube. It can't be played. Look at what's happening. It won't be played, but other videos certainly work. So let's just try to play the next video here. Let's play some jazz. Yeah. See? Works just fine. It's not the phone. It's not the internet connection because I'm using cellular data anyway, and I have an unlimited cellular data plan. It's just the one video that I posted about the landlord not making any repairs in this unit since 2021 that somebody doesn't want me to play. So let's try to play this video again, because we've already established the fact that the internet connection on this phone works, that other videos on YouTube are easily able to be played without any issues. So let's just try to play my video again that I just uploaded about the landlord's dysfunction. Oh, so now it's working. That's interesting. Well, you know, it wasn't working for 10 minutes while I was trying to play it for the last 10 minutes. So this is what I'm referring to. There's some type of electronic interference going on with pretty much all of my electronic communications that pertain to me either obtaining employment, applying for housing funding, um, reopening my um, supplemental nutritional assistance account, participating in research studies and, and you know paid research studies, obviously, and uh, focus groups and market research studies and things like that. All of those efforts on my part are electronically blocked, diverted, interfered with, or just deleted. So emails that I've sent to you know studies asking to participate in them um, don't get received. Payments from research studies that I'm supposed to receive for participation somehow don't get received. They don't get sent to my email. Um, they end up in you know my trash folder or something like that where I don't see them. Um, my 
debit card was hacked yesterday and I was not able to use it at an ATM to make a deposit, to deposit a check actually, that would have given me um, a few hundred bucks into my account. Somebody seems to know everything about my financial um, dealings and day-to-day financial functioning and activities, and they actively electronically try to block those um, activities that I do for on behalf of my finances, you know, calling bank accounts and trying to get an accurate, um, you know, accurate like account balance and stuff like that. All of that stuff gets blocked. So I just made a video 30 minutes ago about how over the last 24 hours, at least four significant hacking instances have prevented me from being able to do what I needed to do financially and professionally. Um, and in very blatant and obvious ways, right? Like this YouTube video not playing for 10 minutes because it's about the landlord's um, malfunction and dysfunction. And uh, research studies that I participated in two weeks ago not paying me because the email that they sent with the payment information was never received by my email account, was never delivered into my email account. My, um, S- my supplemental nutritional account that was supposed to have been reopened seven days ago, um, suddenly not being opened. I mean, you know, the application for that was uh, somehow not saved by the uh, agent who was trying to help me. Stuff like that. So, yeah. Whoever is doing the hacking for the landlord is uh, pretty militant about blocking any things that I might say about them that expose their dysfunction and preventing emails from being sent, attachments from attaching or going through applications from being submitted, videos from being posted or played, things like that.